as Kibra residents looking forward to cast their votes in 7th of November. We talked to some of the aspirants who would like to be the next Kibra MP. Uh, I want to become a Kibra MP because of the visions that I have for the people of Kibra. One, I have the heart uh, for the people of Kibra. Uh, when I look at myself, uh, I want to say that growing up in Kibra, I know so much that is happening here because I've been part of that. Uh, Kibra is a place where we're having one main challenge, poverty. The welfare economics uh, of this state cannot be overstated. As you can see even around here, this is a, a technically a slum. You can see the drainage system isn't so good. So uh, it's a place that I understand that our main issue is poverty. And that is why I'm coming in to try to solve it. Kapa Kibra ni kichaguliwa kama mbunge na weza kufanya kazi. Sana sana na vijana na kina mama. Kwa sababu hawa ndi oppressed and marginalized people in this community. Wamepitia mamo mengi sana, lakini si wakati pia wakulia hizo shida. Ni wakati wakutatua hizi shida. Na kitu ya kwanza ndafanya, ndafanya empowerment. Nataka kuwezesha hawa mama wakua economically empowered. I'm interested in going for this political seat because I've been here long enough to know what a community needs to look like. We've uh, been served some kind of mediocrity there before. We've uh, been made to believe that there's only other people who can lead this community and we know very well that uh, Kibra fathers and, and mothers have also given birth to leaders and it is now just our time to prove to the world that you know what, good things too can come from Kibra. What I stand for? is environmental protection and justice. Pili, social justice. Tatu, youth unemployment. Ambapo under the environmental protection and justice, eco nani food security. So we want to do vocational trainings because in vocational trainings we are able to get more youths to get to school because some of them are maybe dropouts and some of them they have the skills to do uh, to, to go to the vocational training mine is to try to tackle that water sanitation and uh, proper hygiene how are we going to do this i'm going to liars with the one the organization that uh, seeks to serve the purpose of health sanitation environmental advocacy such organizations are in kibra and i am, i just believe that they were underutilized in terms of uh, 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 togetherness i mean a system that will seek to ask people what they want to be done to them not coming up not not, not coming to a community and thinking that you know everything the time for mr no mr and miss know it all are gone now it is time to come back to the community and ask them, okay, as the people of Kianda or the people of Soweto or um, uh, as the people of Mashimoni or Darajani, what do you want? It's not about, okay, I think this is the best thing for you, then you impose it to the people. So that is the kind of a system that I want to breed. But what should Kibra people put into consideration as they go to cast their votes? What I can tell the aspirants and the people of Kibra uh, uh, as such is that they should not elect a party. They should not elect a relative, they should elect a leader. Tunataka mutu yule, akichaguliwa, anajali masila isio kwa vile tu basari peke yake. Kuna wale ambaye awana watoto, awawezi kupewa basari. Lakini inataka yule ataka pochaguliwa, awe mutu ana, anajumulisha watu kwa jumla. Ana ukabila, anaweza dumia watu, sio yule akichaguliwa, anahama naenda mbali, hawezi kurudi kutu, kutuangalia wale walio mpeleka kazi. Amna nisimamia hapa bae ni maremo, tuliona vila lifanya kazi yake. Kazi yake ilikuwa nzuri sana tulipongeza upande wa elimu, upande wa security, upande wa kila kitu. Sasa sisi wakaji wa Kibra tungependa kabisa yule mtu anaweza fata nyayo ya yule bunge wetu ambaye aliaga. Sisi tunataka mtu mwenye ataendeleza maendelezo yenye yalikuwa ya mheshimiwa. Kati yenu wote sijona kwa posta yenu yenye mwenye amesema I'm going to to make the goals of Keno Court to be successful. Zile projects is a nyameata. Nani amejitokeza na malengo ya kuendeleza. 
As campaign in Kibra is getting into a high gear, politicians are coming into the slums with a lot of promises. But I wish they could tackle the issue of water, sanitation, poverty and health, which has been the problem in the slums for so many decades. Reporting for Kenan, I am Evelyn Awar in Kibra.